Hey, what's going on guys? This is Miss and today I'm actually going to try to see if Thunder Dragon Colossus, or I guess I'm going to call it Superbolt, should or might actually get unbanned in the game, I guess relatively soon. There should be a ban list quite soon. Try to see if there is nothing too degenerate that you can do because the card was really, really powerful, got banned in the TCG, and actually got limited in the OCG alongside a lot of Thunder Dragon cards. So Thunder Dragon Hawk is at 1, and I believe Thunder Dragon Bestial, Thunder Dragon Roar, should be at 2. So yeah, before you start, friendly reminder to like and subscribe because it motivates me a lot to keep making videos like these. And yeah, let's jump right into it. Alright, so first things first, there are two ways of actually summoning Thunder Dragon Colossus, either by using the fusion spell, by using two real Thunder Dragon, not like Thunder Dragon monsters, two Thunder Dragons. So it's not really like Thunder Dragon Titan, making it slightly harder to summon, but at the same time could be a bit easier. And also there is another way where the turn used a thunder effect in the hand any thunder effect, doesn't have to be a thunder dragon card, and I'm going to get to this later on. You can tribute, mm, that's another keyword about this card, one thunder monster you control, once again, not a thunder dragon monster. You control to summon this in attack or defense, and also, while it is on the field, your opponent, only your opponent, so it's better than a mistake, cannot add cards from their deck to their hand except by drawing them. And also, if Thunder Dragon Colossus would die either by battle or by card effect, so once again, another point where it is better than Thunder Dragon Titan, because Titan is only be able to protect itself from card effects and not by battle, well, you can banish a thunder monster from your graveyard to protect yourself from destruction, and that is not once per turn, meaning that it is basically a mistake in your extra deck that is undestructible, which obviously is very healthy Yu-Gi-Oh card design, right? Obviously joking, there's a reason why this card got banned in the first place, and I'm going to see, uh, try to figure out why, so obviously this card was really, really easy to summon, and since you only need to tribute one thunder monster and it wasn't once per turn, well, with Master Rule 5, right around the corner where this card got banned, uh, well, that would have been unfair, you know? You just summon three Colossus in defense, so you pretty much never take damage because all of your monsters are undestructible, and your opponent, even if he draws one or two Widow Anchors or Infinite Impermanence, he still can never search, so it cripples your opponent's consistency because some of their engine cards are 100% dead, and in certain instances, pretty much their entire deck might actually be dead, and you can easily OTK right after that, and most of the time, you're kind of able to do all of this sometimes with two or three cards or even with one card technically which make this which makes this even scarier because the thing is with master rule 5 you no longer really need the link arrows and this is why you know this card like this card actually became a huge huge problem out of nowhere and another argument why this card is kind of scaring a lot of people is because of a card called nemesis corridor which is a level 4 thunder monster <laughs> you can already see where this is going and it has an effect that activates in your hand. I think you can kind of start making connections in your brain, right? Hmm. Thunder Monster can be tributed, can actually use its effect in the hand, and all you have to do really to activate its effect is return back one of your banished monsters into the deck, and then special summon it. Once again, this is kind of funny, because in a way, this can also help your deck if you put back a banished card back into your deck, and I'm going to actually showcase you a combo where this actually helps you a lot. And speaking of combos, let's get into the first combo where Thunder Dragon Colossus would be pretty ni pretty damn nice, so let's get right into it. Alright, so for combo number one, basically if we have Needle Fiber, just Needle Fiber, nothing else, just no, no garbage, no bullshit, with a Thunder Dragon and any discard, the ending board is terrifying. Like, absolutely terrifying. It's uh, something that could have been, you know, like, YCS or Nat Sweating, because it's actually a gigantic combo, and it's not even like you needed bricks for that, it's pretty consistent, so Needle Fiber is going to summon pretty much kind of like any level 2 Dragon Tuner from your deck, and then yeah, well Link Cross is going to summon 2 tokens, we're gonna make Martial Marcher, of course this is a Needle Fiber Link Cross token, I mean Deep Sea Diva summon Neptibus is the only play that I can think of, but I'm playing Thunder Dragon card, so of course I'm not gonna do that, so yeah. Martial Marcher is going to revive back that Galaxy Serpent, which is obviously gonna make LP, another huge ban list victim, or I mean I guess target, in the, the, in the battle list. <laughs> so yeah, now Buster, that's not Buster Whelp. Oh yeah, Protector Whelp of the Destruction Swordsman. You're gonna be summoning LP and now you're gonna be targeting, preferably Guard Dragon LP, sorry, you're gonna summon Brotor, oh my god. And then you're gonna preferably target LP because if you get Ogre here, well, you can still get your search, whereas if you get Ogre on the Brotor targeting itself, you do not search anything because you don't have to discard for cost. And it actually searches upon resolution of the monster that you targeted, so yeah. Just a... Uh, 
you know, neat little thing to keep in mind. And yeah, of course, you're gonna search for Levianir, you're gonna revive back Galaxy Serpent, and now you're gonna make Romulus, so search for Dragon's Ravine, and now you're going to make Trishula Fusion by using three different Dragon Monsters. And this is where... <laughs> Thunder Dragon cards become really good because if you're only using them for Link material fodder, it's kind of naggy. You're using a lot of cards and it's not really worth it maybe. But now it's going to be very, very worth it. So of course we already used the Thunder effect in the hand in the form of Thunder Dragon. So this can already be used and turned into a Colossus in defense. So yeah, before doing that, I guess we're going to ravine and pitch a card that actually thrives on your monsters being tributed, which is Diabolos. Another thing that people did at Nats 2019, including myself. So when you summon Coloxus, since you tributed a monster, of course, you get to revive back Diabolos, which has a lot of pretty fantastic effects. It's just a really good card. And you get to search this little guy, Thunder Dragon Lord. Pretty nice, huh? You're gonna see why soon enough. So Levinier is banishing three dark, so your opponent loses one card. And now you're going to be banishing a Thunder Monster from your hand. I think it's a Thunder Dragon. Oh no, Thunder Monster you control or in your hand. The turn a Thunder effect was activated in the hand and you're going to be summoning it. This its effect doesn't really matter because you have a level 9 on the field. This is level 9. Which problematic monster can we summon? I'll let you guess. V to the F to the D. And you're going to be declaring dark. This is relevant because your Link Cross token is actually a light, but thanks to VFD, it becomes dark. So Diabolos will make your opponent lose one additional card, and you're going to make a Harbinger for game. Pretty fantastic, man. Just a two point, basically a two card combo with a di this card gets you to Colossus Harbinger VFD, and your opponent loses two cards from their hand. This is really terrifying. So this is one of the three things that you can expect if Colossus gets unbanned. Let's get into the second one. All right, so this. This combo is technically a one card combo assuming that you're later on in the game but assuming that you aren't and you need to OTK your opponent going second on an empty board for example well this is just a two card straight 8000 damage OTK and this would absolutely not even be close to being a thing if Colossus was actually still banned so uh, yeah I mean what are you gonna do here without Colossus there is not a single link one I guess that allows you to trade that roar for something but Colossus is kind of in a way a link one so uh, yeah that is very fair once again because it triggers the effect of your monsters and it has 2600 attack and once again cannot be destroyed by anything and prevents your opponent from searching which obviously I don't know why ev anyone would ever complain and want this card bad right <laughs> right and by the way, this card has an even better effect in the OCG than in the TCG because <laughs> a lot of people actually forget that in the OCG, this card actually says must first be special summon, meaning that Hawk can revive back Colossus from your graveyard and in your banished, which is pretty ridiculous, right? Yeah. Anyways, now you're going to make another Colossus, which is going to search, well, not the Colossus searches, obviously, but your Dark will search for Thunder Dragon Duo. 26 multiplied by 2 is 52, so you need 28, and guess, guess what monster actually has 28? Uh, this boy, so, uh, yeah, uh, th th that's uh, that's approximately game, and that's, I don't know, that's pretty nice, a deck that can OTK your opponent pretty, pretty much with one card in the hand, and just one card either in your grave or in your banish, so if you're Gold Sark for Beast, which gets ashed, well, next turn you can just Hawk, Revive Beast, and then game, so in simplified game state, Thunder Dragons are just absolutely ridiculous. They are, this this is actually a deck that if it is played as a pure deck, it can make can play multiple hand traps and can end on you know Colossus, IP Mask, Arena, Titan, honestly quite easily. Especially since you know Aloof Lupine is into Thunder, so you're just linking it off for Mascarina with pretty much anything that you're special summoning off of uh, Dragon Roar. So even if Colossus is at, a, is at one, it's still enough to prevent your opponent from searching in the first place, meaning that it might just it might just be too much, right? You can't really. There's a huge difference between playing a zero of and a one of. I mean, obviously, as a zero of, it's not a problem because you you don't have to deal with it. But as a one of, all of a sudden, it has a really annoying effect and you need specific cards to beat it. Anyways, let's get into the third combo. So this third combo is something that pretty much anyone and their mother can do as long as you play Nemesis Corridor. But Nemesis Corridor is also searchable by flag. So one deck that can kind of take advantage of the shuffling back from the banished effect of these guys so you know the 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 the, the 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 nemesis is actually heroes because malicious is actually not once per turn of course and right now what i'm doing just kind of nothing irrelevant i mean nothing relevant to via vion is a one card dark law if you're willing to play the equip spell breaks obviously please don't 
uh, especially Phoenix Blade is a garbage one here. Only Living Fossil doesn't suck, but yeah. Anyways, you're gonna search for Mass Change, you're gonna shuffle back in Malicious, which obviously you can use again, <laughs> very fair. And now, you know, Corridor again, and you're gonna make Appaloosa for four. I should have made Appaloosa before summoning the flag. And yeah, you're gonna make Colossus since you're using, Fla uh, sorry, Corridor. Uh, and by the way, when, when I meant flag, I meant Corridor again. And now you pretty much have one way to protect your Colossus from being destroyed. And on top of that, you have three Monster Negates and a Dark Law. All of that just with two cards, which is pretty nasty. And you're gonna get a second search, so it's not really like you had to empty everything to do that because you also have two pretty good hero monsters. Well, I mean, one is like insurance policy to protect Dark Law, and the other one is like a follow-up card. But if you really want to, you can just play two additional aggressive cards. I guess it can make sense. Just make sure you don't search, uh, you know, Stratos with, um, with a thingy. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, no, actually, never mind. Yeah, you can you can do pretty much whatever you want. Uh, <laughs> because the thing is, the Isolde Search, it's a card that you're not using anyways, so it really doesn't matter. Anyways, that's all I had to show at... Say and showcase for this beautiful Thunder Dragon Colossus video. If you guys have any comments or feedback, or if you think that the card should stay bad or go to one or go to three because the format is already too fast, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Just make sure you don't actually forget that the banalist hits all recurrent ex current existing decks. So if you make Colossus go from zero to three, obviously people are going to overplay it and there might be like a saturation in the format and it might become cancer. So, anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.